Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have asked me about attacking Town Hall 11s for farming. And my usual response was that it wasn't a good idea to attack Town Hall 11s unless they were a rush base or a dead base with inactive infernos and traps, or if they have loaded collectors on the outside of the base. Uh, it's just not worth attacking them for resource if all the resources are protected inside storages and inside the base and if the base has high level defenses. And the reason I avoid attacking these powerful Town Hall 11 bases is not because I can't beat them, it's because it's just not a smart way of farming. Why? Because to truly destroy a Town Hall 11 base without much risk, you have to use multiple spells and possibly lose your heroes. And that's just poor farming if you're losing your heroes and using many spells to get the resource because you want to continue to use your heroes every raid and also have enough spells to attack every raid. And if you lose your heroes and spells, you're going to have a very hard time finding a base to attack without heroes and spells. And that's one of the biggest reasons why many people complain about not finding loot. But in this video, I'm going to share some attacks entirely for fun. The purpose is to show you guys the potential of my army and that even though I'm using some of the weakest troops in the game such as barbarians, archers and giants, I'm still able to wreck very developed Town Hall 11 bases. Okay check this out, a Town Hall 11 with maxed out Town Hall 10 defenses and the Eagle Artillery and Grand Warden on defense. So I'm going to spread out my giants, barbarians, archers behind them, send out my wall breakers, use raid spell to open up the first layer and then use earthquake spells to open up the inner core layer. Now I have a raid spell leading all my troops straight towards the core. He has clan castle archers, wizards, just going to have to use a poison spell on them. And uh, I'm going to freeze the eagle artillery and the teslas as they do the greatest amount of damage to my level 40 heroes. And uh, with my life aura ability from my grand warden, my archers, wizards, and uh, barbarians can live a bit longer from the multi infernal damage. So I don't have to worry too much about that. Use my second rage in the core with them. Take out that core, take out the town hall, eagle artillery, two infernos. Uh, so yeah, I basically cored this base and it's gonna be a two stars against a basically uh, town hall 11 base with max defense, max town hall 10 defenses with eagle artillery and uh, the grand warden on defense. And I did it with G barge, with giants, barbarians, and archers mainly. So that's pretty crazy. And I also got a lot of resource. Uh, over uh, 600,000 in total gold and elixir, uh, plus the loot bonus. So that's over 700,000. And I also got with the loot bonus around 5,000 dark elixir. Okay, here we have another Town Hall 11 with max defenses. And I'm gonna use a couple of archers on the bottom just to rack up some percentage points because I do want to 50% him. And then I'm gonna attack from the top. Open up the first layer with wall breakers. Open up the second layer with wall breakers as I have the defenses distracted. And, and in the core, I'm gonna place my earthquake spells to open up all those uh, compartments. Now I have a straight path leading all my troops towards that core and it's very open. So it's gonna be a piece of cake for me to 50% percent this base and uh, there's a lot of resource inside that core a lot of elixir and that's basically my priority is the elixir which is the most valuable for me because I need elixir to upgrade my grand warden as I already have basically max defenses uh, so here I'm gonna use the uh, raid spell and then I'm gonna use the eternal tome at the point all my troops were being targeted at the point the eagle artillery was uh, firing so yeah that was perfect and here as you can see I basically got almost all the elixir I think I got all of it actually yeah my archer queen's not gonna target the last elixir storage and yeah that's gonna grab me the elixir storage so that's gonna be over 470,000 elixir plus the loot bonus 110k more so that's around 600,000 elixir awesome Okay, another max defense Town Hall 11 base. I'm gonna use Earthquake spells on the two mid layers. And then I'm gonna open up three entry points so that I can then comfortably send out my Barbarians, Archers, and Giants. I can comfortably spread them around. And you really wanna spread them around as if you only create one entry point and send all your troops in, then that's just gonna clump all of them together. And uh, that just means that the splash defenses are gonna do more damage. They're gonna be a bigger threat, especially 
the Eagle Artillery. Uh, so you really want to spread all your troops. And here, as you can see, my Barbarians, Archers, Giants are distracting the Eagle Artillery, which is allowing my uh, heroes to be safe. Here, my King got targeted, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna instead freeze the Multi Inferno with the Tesla and the Expo uh, to safeguard my Witches, Archers, and Barbarians as they make their way towards the core. And uh, then I'm gonna place that second free spell. Somehow I got the Tesla, but not the Inferno Tower. Uh, but that's fine, my heroes are still going strong, and now my Archer Queen's gonna make her way towards the core. I already got the Town Hall with my level 40 Barbarian King, and uh, here I'm at 35%, so it looks like I might not get the two, two stars, but I'm still gonna be able to get a good, decent amount of uh, gold and elixir. And I still beat this base, uh, Max Defense Town Hall 11 base, uh, with basically Giants, Barbarians, and Archers. And of course, with the help of my heroes. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching all these great attacks. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon. Later.